So hello and welcome to this episode of Adventure Bike Pilot. As you can see, it's a beautiful day. And uh, yeah, this is going to be another quite a short video. Uh, I just wanted to give you an update on uh, the plans now, uh, because uh, the lockdowns are starting to lift. Uh, so today, uh, we're only, what, two or three days away now from full inter-county lockdown being lifted so we can in three days we can travel outside of our county so basically you're free to travel anywhere you want in the country again after what seems like a lifetime i mean a lifetime uh now i've pretty much stuck to that as much as i can you know i i know there's an awful lot of i think i'm probably one of the only people in the country who try to actually abide by the rules but you know uh, i can only uh, look after myself but um so it will be great i mean great to get back to uh to a bit of freedom and being able to travel again and get some use finally out of this motorbike which has barely seen any action since i bought it so uh so the plan is to uh to, to, to get back to normal as quickly as possible so luckily luckily it looks like i might be getting my vaccine uh, quite soon actually certainly i think within the next two to three weeks uh, it's heartbreaking watching all of you guys over in the uk getting it uh, miles ahead of us miles ahead of us all your countries watching richie video today and he's going out for meals and pints and going where he wants uh, miles ahead of us here um, but I, I won't go into a rant on that because I absolutely could go on for hours and lose the plot giving out yards about how badly it's been handled here but I won't but um, yeah so at least we can start to plan to get back to normal so uh, one of the things that I've been thinking about doing and uh, I think uh, I'll try and incorporate into the into the videos going forward is the Irish photo rally now I've, I've, all, I've kind of started and stopped on this once or twice before I've never actually done a full one and I'm, and I'm you know a little bit reluctant even to commit to it because you know most of the year has gone on it I don't know how much time I'll have left to get all the points done and everything well sure we'll give it a go and so that's what I'm doing today I'm gonna go out and get the first point today one that's quite local to me it's only about 20 kilometers away from my house uh, on the Kildare Dublin border in Ratcool it's a little building in the in the village uh, called Petty Court I must look up the history of it because I'm sure there's a story behind this building but um so I want to get this one done now the way the Irish photo rally for works for those people who, who don't know it or aren't from Ireland uh, or don't have anything similar in your region it's basically a rally where they set up 24 points of interest dotted all around the country the whole length and breadth of the country 24 of them and then you've got most of the year uh, once they launch it to go on your motorbike go to each of the points take a photograph of your motorbike at the points and then you submit those photographs uh, and then you get a badge or a t-shirt or something like that and then they have a night out at the end of it although i don't think that'll happen this year because of covid they usually have a night out on it a dinner thing you know and uh, and then there's all sorts of prizes for you know people doing funny photographs and original photographs or doing it the quickest or the slowest or there's all sorts of variants on it anyway the whole point of it is to just get out in a motorbike and go and explore the country it's to get you up and out so there's 24 of them like i said spread out right the way around the country so this one is quite close to me as i said it's 20 kilometers from my home so i want to get this one dusted because this one is on as i said i'm going to start planning the routes again i've already well, not start i've already done them um for this year uh and the first route is going to be uh, my Ring of Kerry, my annual Ring of Kerry, or the, the Southern Peninsulas, which I've uh, done an in-depth, detailed analysis uh, and route planning videos on before. I'll put a link into that. And uh, 
I'm going to do that uh, but I might even extend it a little bit because uh, now that the country's opening up I want to catch up on an awful lot of biking that I haven't done uh, so in my mind I'm going to do you know the Berda Peninsula the Ring of Kerry and uh, Dingle Peninsula and then obviously then there's the commute down and the commute back which I usually make a day of each uh, and then uh, but this time depending on the weather and see how the lockdown and if I've got my vaccine and all that type of fun stuff I might just continue on and do the rest of the whole wild Atlantic way but uh, we'll see but I wanted to get this point done and dusted now out of the way uh, because theoretically it's kind of on the route that I'll do down to the Ring of Kerry but I have to kind of make a detour to get it so I'll just get it now and then I can make a much better more direct route on the way down to the Ring of Kerry Uh, and be done with it. It's a nice day, it's a good excuse to go out riding, so um, let's get it done. Yeah, so as I said, I'll do the Ring of Kerry at least. That may then get extended into a full Wild Atlantic Way. And then later in the year, I'll have one uh, that's focused uh, primarily on Donegal and Sligo again. I've given up on the idea of, of leaving uh, the country this year. I had a little trip with the brother plan to Wales but I, I highly think that's unlikely. I just think with the way things are going I just don't think it's going to happen. So I'm just going to keep it all in Ireland this year. Uh, which isn't disappointing in the slightest because I love, I love driving over here particularly when you get onto the wild Atlantic way or you know, anywhere really, it's a, it's a great uh, biking country. Uh, and then I know for sure then that I have the Scotland one on for next year because, you know, wild stallions or any Covid bloody outbreaks aren't going to stop me from cancelling it three years in a row. So yeah, so um, I think that's everything. Uh, like I said, I'm going to go down now. I'll, I'll show you this spot. So what I'll try and do is I'll try and include all of the 24 spots either in an individual video by themselves or in my uh, my trip planning videos because um, I'm going to get this one by itself. But when I go down to Kerry, I think there's about five or six of them that I can get on my way down and then if I do extend on into the rest of the Wild Atlantic Way uh, I can get probably another seven or eight of them uh, so they'll be uh, what I'll do is I'll incorporate them into those videos and then I'll put them into two playlists one will be the the, the trip playlist and then the other one I'll create another playlist for Irish Photo Rally 2021 Uh, but let's get down and get this point and then uh, we'll crack on. Talk to you shortly. So we're coming into Rathcool here. We're looking for a little building called uh, the Petty Court. As far as I know, it's right on the main street here. I think I see it here on my left. Here we go. Let's make this quick. Yeah, so that's it. 
Court of Petty Sessions, Rathcool, 1914. Yeah, don't see any history on it there. Nice little building though. So that's not the first one done. Um, yeah, to get home. Okay, that's the first one done. Now that was quite easy. Now to get home, I'm on a um, I'm on a time limit here because I have a work call at uh, two o'clock. I had thought I might be able to get a, a bit of a take a bit of a scenic route home, but uh, the margin of error is only uh, 20 minutes, so uh, <laughs> that's not out the window. So yeah, so I had a quick look there on the old interweb. And uh, they didn't have a whole lot of information about it, to be honest with you. Uh, it was actually a court, a uh, petty court, which I assume back in the day was uh, another way of saying a um, uh, small claims court, where you went to uh, settle uh, petty claims. Uh, built in 1914, although it says 1914, but on the on the. Uh, interweb page uh, it said it was in operation from 1910 to 1915 so somebody's got their dates uh, wrong I think <laughs> maybe not uh, but I'll do a bit more reading on it later and uh, and uh, get the blurb on it but um, apparently it's a library now uh, a small library but a uh, nice little building so yeah, that's one down, 23 to go. So as I said, I'll, I'll cut in about five or six of them all on my way down. Now, the uh, uh, because the lockdown is lifting, I was so lucky. I had, a, I had my Ring of Kerry trip booked since last year. And uh, Nobody knew what dates these lockdowns were going to finish at until about ooh, about a week and a half ago. And by pure fluke, I mean pure fluke, the uh, the hotels are allowed to open literally, I mean literally days ahead of when I had the uh, trip booked. But uh, I was very, very lucky, very, very lucky that it was like so close. Uh, so what I might do is uh, normally what I do to get down to Kerry and I always underestimate it is uh, is try and get I drive for about an hour down the motorway and then I cut over to the east coast and try and make my way down and I go through Cove and all of that and it's beautiful and everything but uh, it's always much longer than I uh, expect it to be and it, it ends up that I always end up getting into uh, Bantry because I always like to start in Bantry I always end up getting in there uh, very very late um, so uh, so what I might do is now that I know the hotels are opening up again is I might actually leave a day earlier and make my way towards either Kilkenny or Waterford or, or Wexford or somewhere like that, somewhere halfway-ish kind of between Dublin and uh, and Cork. Take in some of the points on the way to that stop, the rally points, and then get up the following morning on what would have been my first day to Kerry or Cork at that stage. Um, 
and take my time and go down along uh, the Copper Coast and taking in things like Hookhead, uh, Passage East, Passage West, uh, down along the Copper Coast line, which is absolutely stunning, stunning. Down through Cove and, uh, and take my time at it and then get into uh, Bantry at a nice reasonable time. Uh, because it's going to be an interest, this is going to be a very strange trip altogether, very strange, because none of the hotel, well, sorry, none of the bars and none of the, uh, the restaurants op are going to be open. All the, pretty much all of the hospitality sector is still shut down, bar the hotels. So the hotels are saying that only residents can get into the restaurant and bars. Uh, which, to be honest, actually kind of suits me, particularly on a solo trip. Kind of suits me. Uh, I'll do my days driving and then get in the chair and jay, the shampoo, go down from the dindins and then find a little corner and start uh, start uploading my videos and getting the the route finalised for the next day and and all of that. So uh, you know to know that the place isn't going to be absolutely jammers with there, uh, although maybe it will be, but. Uh, Kinda suits me. But it will certainly be weird because the thing about uh, actually I hadn't even thought of that until just now. The thing that makes Ireland is its uh, is its nightlife and music. The crack of his kill. Laughter and music. And particularly when you're on the Wild Atlantic Way, and particularly the likes of uh, Clarny and Dingle and Bantry and all of that. The whole buzz of these places is the, uh, is the live Irish traditional music. And uh, I don't know if they'll put it on for just the residents. Maybe they will, maybe they won't. But even if they do, it's going to be not as atmospheric, because it just there won't be that buzz of all the people there, you know. Uh, it's hard to tell until I'm down on it, but, uh, you know, this COVID thing absolutely could decimate a way of, uh, of life and, and uh, Irish culture, you know. The, the Irish traditional live music, that's what Ireland's famous for. And, uh, I mean, I've, 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 I've faith that it'll come back, but, uh, it must be absolutely terrible and decimating to these businesses uh, all around the country, particularly on the Wild Atlantic Way. I mean, it's affecting everybody, but the Wild Atlantic Way is literally built on Crack August Kill. So, uh, yeah, this is going to be a, uh, a tour with a difference. Uh, and actually, now that I think of it, it'll be actually quite a historical tour. I mean, imagine, I'd like to go forward in the future 100 or 200 years and go back and watch my own videos to see what was life like as the world started, only barely started to re-emerge from this feckin' nightmare. What a bloody nightmare. Two years or more of people's lives just put on hold, you know, it's been awful, awful. I've certainly struggled with it, you know, but I'm sure there's people in much worse situations than I am. Uh, but uh, I'll be glad when it's over. I will be glad when all of this is over. Uh, so yeah, so yeah, so like I said, first trip is Ring of Kerry, possibly the whole Wild Atlantic Way, which would be fantastic. Uh, I've done the routes before, but if anyone has anything that they know of that I should go and see and add into the uh, repertoire, please shout it out. But uh, you know. I'll definitely be incorporating this uh, Irish photo rally into it this year as much as I can. I mean, like I said, I don't want to overcommit and say it. I'm definitely going to complete it, but I'll give it a go. You know, I'll give it a go. I mean, 
I think I can most of them seem to be pretty much along the route that I'm going to do anyway I don't have to go too far out of my way to get them I mean particularly when I'm on the Ring of Kerry it's more important for me to enjoy the sights and the, the, the route that I've planned than to, to go out of my way to get these points but if I can get them handy enough I'll get them see the problem is some of them are down just these random out of the way places that there's really not a whole lot to see so I don't want to sacrifice I don't want to sacrifice my route for uh, something that but like I said we'll we'll put it on we'll put it on we'll give it a go it's very popular in Ireland it's uh, it's incredibly popular anyway oh boy is anyway uh, any more for this video I'm gonna crack on and get home uh, so yeah like I said should have my vaccine shortly lockdowns are lifting hotels are opening uh, the routes are now back on the table I at least know when I can start going back to them and I have the first ones and all booked uh, and I'm going to do as much as I can the Irish Voter Rally and incorporate it into those trips but I'll set up a separate playlist so that's everything I wanted to get you up to speed on today so anyway talk to you later guys and uh, stay safe talk soon take care bye bye